my computer science degree in uh, that many minutes. I've seen a lot of other YouTubers do videos like this. Never seen anyone do it for a master's degree, so I figured why not be the first? And uh, I actually think I have my degree around here somewhere. Uh, one sec. All right, so I got my degree from California Polytechnic State University, San Luis Obispo. If you live in California, you've definitely heard of it. If you don't live in California, you probably haven't. Yeah, I'm not holding this the whole time. But they have a phenomenal computer science program. College Factual ranks them 15th in the country in terms of salaries for computer science graduates. And all the schools above it were either Ivy League or big name schools. And Cal Poly being a state school is extremely affordable. So in my opinion, I think it's the top school in the country in terms of bang for your buck, especially for computer science. The school motto is learn by doing. So they really focus on gaining practical skills, getting that hands-on experience, and they really hammer every computer science fundamental into your head. So I have a bachelor's degree in international studies from UC Irvine. Some of you guys were asking how I got straight into a master's computer science program with a non-technical degree. Um, I didn't. I spent two years taking all the prerequisite classes, kind of the, the core classes you would need for a bachelor's in computer science. So everything from intro to CS to operating systems, as well as all the required math classes, as well as the GRE. And then I got in. All right, so let's take a look at the requirements. We needed nine total classes. Five were graduate level computer science classes, and we had four undergraduate senior level courses. And then of course a master's thesis, which uh, is always a lot of fun. So for me, it took two years or six quarters to graduate. All right, so let's go over my transcript. But first, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and um, make sure you guys like the video. And if you wanna join my Discord where you can connect with other developers, there's a link to that down in the description. All right, so we have year one fall quarter where I took two classes. The first was the design and analysis of algorithms. Now I actually didn't have to take this class, but I chose to because I had never taken a formal algorithms class. And I'm so glad I did because it introduced me to dynamic programming. We went really in depth with graphs and trees and just a great class to get my feet wet. And a lot of the topics I learned here still come up today in coding interviews. The other class was artificial intelligence and I didn't really like this class too much. I don't know, maybe I thought AI was gonna be like how it's portrayed in the movies. Um, but honestly, like this, this intro class was kind of boring to me. I somehow got an A. I think the group project saved me on this one. Moving on to winter quarter. Again, I took two classes. The first was introduction to computer networks. I got a B minus, which is the worst grade I've gotten in a computer science class, uh, but it was still enjoyable. We got to learn about the OSI model, uh, the difference between TCP and UDP, basically how a packet gets created on a system, how it gets routed through the internet and received by another system. There's a lot that goes on there and it was really cool learning how that all works and the potential problems that may come up. The thing I didn't like about this class is that there was no textbook all the notes were slides that the professor created and then he just went over them in class. I'm the type of person that needs some kind of like supplemental textbook to go over. Um, so I think that's part of the reason why I didn't do that well. The other class I took was computer support for knowledge management. This was the only graduate level course I took my first year. And honestly, I still don't even know what this course was about. The course description is to make the management of knowledge and information in digital form easier for the user. All I know is they tried to make us do the end Queens problem using a language called Prolog. And then I think maybe I kind of like blacked out at that point and I woke up and I had an A. And the thing that I've noticed in a lot of grad courses is that as long as you make an effort and at least like do the work, you're usually gonna get an A. I think that professors understand if you got into the grad program, you're probably academically responsible. So as long as you just do what they want you to do, they usually give you an A, they're not really there to babysit you. All right, moving on to spring quarter year one, I took two courses and these are probably my favorite courses that I took at Cal Poly. The first course is mobile app development. So they switch every quarter between iOS and Android. I happened to get it the year they did Android. So we learned about how the Android operating system is modeled. We learned about the different tools and libraries you can use and just the best practices for Android app development. The other course was topics in computer security, network and web security. So I don't actually work in security, but it's always been something that I've been interested in and this class did not disappoint. We learned about cross-site scripting, DDoS attacks, SQL injections, um, Wi-Fi pineapples, 
It was just a ton of fun and it was a big reason why I chose the thesis that I did. So during the summer between my first and second year, I ended up doing an internship at Amazon in Portland. I only had one summer to get an internship, so I was glad that I was able to make the most of it. All right, moving on to year two, fall quarter. I took, uh, you guys are gonna love this one. So Cal Poly has a very small graduate program, so they only really offer two, maybe three courses per quarter at the graduate level. So I ended up taking the graduate course of artificial intelligence. And it was kind of the same thing. I found it kind of boring. Uh, we had a group project, but no final. And actually, I don't think we actually had a final in any of the graduate courses, which was actually really nice. I also ended up taking thesis seminar and thesis one. Uh, these are the classes that you need to register for while you're working on your thesis. And my thesis had to do with security within the Android operating system. And then I ended up taking a unit of soccer because I needed one unit to be considered a full-time student so I could get my grants. Um, but it ended up being a lot of fun. We ended up even making an intramural team from that class. And uh, I mean, we weren't very good, but it's okay. All right, next up we have winter quarter where I took computer security, the graduate version of it. And this class was pretty much just reading scientific white paper after scientific white paper. And if you've never read one of these white papers, uh, like it's super dense, even going through like a five page paper takes several hours. A lot of times they'll have their own custom notation that you'll have to refer back to. And then we would just discuss the paper in class. But there were a lot of cool topics. Uh, like I think one of them was how the NSA can pretty much decrypt all our traffic. So uh, yeah. And then I took thesis two, which again, just making more progress on my thesis. And then I took weight training. Again, needed that one extra unit. I was like, well, I'm gonna go to the gym anyways. Might as well get credit for it. All right, and finally we have spring quarter of year two, which was my heaviest course load that I took. I took languages and translators, which is the graduate version of programming language concepts. The majority of the work in this class was a group project where our group specifically worked on something where it would take two pieces of code and it would check to see how similar they were. It was basically a cheating detection program. And the other course was Theory of Computation Part Two. In this class, we were broken up into groups of two and each group had to uh, take a chapter out of the book Theory of Computation and teach it to the rest of the class. So you can get really lucky and get a really easy topic. I think we went last and we got like the hardest topic there was, but Theory of Computation is probably my favorite computer science topic, so it was right down my alley. And then again, thesis three, which was more work on my thesis. I didn't end up finishing my thesis, so I had to work on it while I was working full time, which I highly do not recommend because you're gonna hate life. So it took me like an additional eight months after my spring quarter to actually finish my thesis and defend it. But then after that, I was done. And I ended up graduating with a 3.81 GPA, and I ended up graduating with honors. So that's a little flex I can put on my resume. So the program itself, the city of San Luis Obispo, I couldn't have asked for a better experience. And if you have the opportunity to go there, I would highly recommend you do. It's not easy to get into. I think you now need like over a 4.0 if you wanna get into the undergra undergraduate computer science program out of high school. And the graduate program is not much easier to get into either. But like I said, once you graduate, you will be industry ready. Hey, if you guys got a lot of value out of this video, make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And again, feel free to join in my Discord. It's completely free and you can hop in there, connect with other developers, link to that down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, keep on coding.